హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఐఆమ్ బాలాజీరావు వెల్కమ్ టు బిఆర్ మ్యాథ్స్ క్లాస్ ఇన్ దిస్ క్లాస్ వి విల్ లెర్న్ హౌ టు క్యాలిక్యులేట్ దిస్ ఇంటిగ్రల్ ఇఫ్ ద గివెన్ ఇంటిగ్రల్ ఈజ్ ఆఫ్ ది ఫామ్ ఇంటిగ్రల్ ఆఫ్ వన్ డివైడ్ బై ఏక్స్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ బిఎక్స్ ప్లస్ సిడిఎక్స్ ఆర్ గివెన్ ఇంటిగ్రల్ ఈజ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఫామ్ ఆర్ గివెన్ ఇంటిగ్రల్ ఈజ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఫామ్ ఇఫ్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఈజ్ ఎనీ వన్ ఆఫ్ దీస్ ఫార్మ్స్ ద ప్రొసీజర్ ఈజ్ సేమ్ వాట్ ఈస్ దట్ ప్రొసీజర్ ఫస్ట్ we consider the expression of the form ax square plus bx plus c here that expression is x square plus 2x plus 2 first you consider the expression of the form ax square plus bx plus c after considering this expression i want to write this expression in this form like uh, x square minus a square or a square minus x square or x square plus a square i want to write any one of these forms here you make sure that x square coefficient is 1 or not if x square coefficient is 1 nothing to worry if x square coefficient is not 1 we take that number common and we will make x square coefficient 1 here x square coefficient is 1 so always you write x here because here x square is there you always write x immediately here you observe what sign is there here here plus sign is there you write the same sign if minus sign is there we will write minus okay now this is very very important please try to understand here you need to write some number that number we need to find you always take 2x it is not about here 2x is there that's why we taken 2x here you always remember 2x 2x into some number 2x into some number we need to write here after multiplying all this you should get what expression is there here here what is there 2x is there luckily here 2x is there okay so by writing what number here after multiplying all this we will get 2x if i write one here 2x into 1 is 2x only. So here I'll write 1. Suppose here 3x is there. Suppose, suppose here 3x is there. Then what you will do? 2x is always keep in your mind. 2x into some number. 2x into some number. After multiplying all these, if you need 3x, what you will write here? You will write 3 by 2. You see here 2, 2 will get cancelled. You will get 3x. Then we will write 3 by 2 here. I hope you are understanding. Plus 1 whole square minus irrespective of what sign is there here. Here minus only minus square of this number. Try to understand. Square of this number. 1 square is 1. If you simplify all these expressions, what you will get? You will get x square plus 2x. If you want, you check here. x plus 1 whole square minus 1 x plus 1 whole square expand x square plus 1 plus 2x minus 1. See here plus 1 minus 1 will get cancelled x square plus 2x. So here x square plus 2x we can write like this. If you simplify all this what you are getting? You are getting x square plus 2x. So this whole thing will give you x square plus 2x. Here what is remaining? Plus 2 is remaining. That I will write here. Plus 2. I hope you are understanding that equal to what you will get here x plus 1 whole square minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 plus 2 is what plus 1 right so here that equal to uh, x plus 1 whole square x plus 1 whole square plus 1 can be written as 1 square right you observe here this expression i got in the form of x square plus a square my main intention is I want to write this expression ax square plus bx plus c into any one of these forms. So here I got uh, this form x square plus a square form. Okay. So now this x square plus 2x plus 2 we can write it as x plus 1 whole square plus 1. So here continuation that equal to integral of 1 divided by See here x square plus 2x plus 2 can be written as uh, x plus 1 whole square plus 1 square dx. Okay. That equal to, you observe this, it is of the form integral of 1 divided by x square plus a square dx. We know this formula, integral of 
1 divided by x square plus a square dx. What is the formula for this? The formula is 1 by a into tan inverse of x by a plus c. This is the formula, right? So you observe now actually we need to do this integral by substitution method. But here I will write the answer directly. If I do this problem by substitution method here, it creates unnecessary confusion. It is not at all necessary. You can write its answer directly. You observe this integral is of the form integral of 1 divided by x square plus a square dx. This formula we learned in previous classes. So just apply this formula. Here how to write this answer directly. You observe here, here x square is there in place of x, x plus 1 whole square is there. Forget about all the things, just apply this formula. Just apply this formula. Wherever a is there, there you write 1. Wherever x is there, there you write x plus 1. You will get the answer. Right? Okay. Apply the formula. 1 divided by a. What is a here? 1 by a is 1 into tan inverse of x. What is x here? x is x plus 1. x plus 1 divided by a. a is 1 plus c. I already done these problems by substitution method and direct method trick. If you want to know more clearly, you watch the classes from 65 to 69. Now if we simplify this further, 1 by 1 is 1 only, 1 into this expression, this expression only will come. So what you will get here, tan inverse of x plus 1 plus c. Actually these problems are very easy. Only the thing is you need little bit of practice.